grand earth, beautiful <laughs> homes. It's all, it's all about hope. And I knocked on the door and said, picking up Judy Porter, Porter to take a ski. And I said, sorry, it's not Judy Porter, it's me. And he took me down to the snow. I was the man, yeah. <laughs> and I'd been singing to her on the way, just oh. Oh. singing along with the music on the radio. And um, and we pulled up at Golden to get some fuel. And I said, do you want anything? And she said, yeah. And I said, what's that? And she said, can you stop singing? So, <laughs> oh, this girl's a bit feisty. Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> so we continued on to the perisher. And um, we were in our early 20s. And yeah, we just had a big party. It was just full on. So all these, all these guys could ski, and I went. I'd never seen snow before. I had all my borrowed gear on. They, they were all looking pretty sneak and you know all coordinated. And, you know they could ski, and I had a friend down there as well, and we couldn't ski. So they used to get up early in the morning, all go skiing. We'd say, "Well, we drop for lunch behind the trees." With our flag on. <laughs> so. There was a lot of booze involved. <laughs> and um, as the week went on, we sort of became more attracted to each other, I guess. <laughs> and then when we got back to Sydney, um, we kept seeing each other, and so it developed. There we go. Then I rang my mother up and said, oh, I think I met the man I like and like. Oh, he didn't commit. Oh, oh God. Yes. He, it, it, I it, went and lived with him over in London for a couple of years and well, Australia go, go, for go, a couple go, of years. Go back and see, go back and <laughs> we, we met at the snow, but I'd already booked to go to London um, a few months later. So off I went. And, but I was still fancy, so I, I kept, <laughs> kept writing to her. She'd hardly ever write back, but, <laughs> you know, I put up with it. And so I was in London for probably over 12 months before I convinced her to come over, and she did. And we met at Heathrow. There was Cage, you boy, her eyes out. Oh. Absolutely boy, her eyes out. Oh, oh, maybe she does like me. <laughs> so that was pretty exciting. Oh. Uh, never had anyone cry over me before. So that was good. I think you must have been dreaming about that one. No, no, no. You, this would have been about 76, maybe, 77, around the actual year. We, we, were, we were keen to move to the country. I mean, Sydney was great before we had kids. But once we had kids, it was a new ball game. Well, um, <laughs> I'm still trying to make him into the man I want to be with. <laughs> <laughs> So, Am I getting close? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't give up. And he's <laughs> not quite the man I want to marry. <laughs> I want to go get a man. Go get a man. <laughs> yeah. We're now in our 70s and I, I need to achieve quite a lot before my 90-year-old. My nineties, before Gerald gets too old, <laughs> and going to we we're going to buy this beautiful two-story, <laughs> beautiful house, and <laughs> the only thing we could afford was a broken-down mud house, which we, was unlivable. But you know, we got stuck into it and made it into a home. Yeah. So my dream. I'm still, I'm still making my dreams come through. I, I respect Kay's ability to get things done. I respect her work ethic. I don't respect her <laughs> lack of tolerance. She, she's not tolerant at all. And she, but you know, I, I like I like strong women, and Kay's <laughs> Kay's as strong as you can get. <laughs> I haven't been a stronger one. So. Um, but it works, you know. I do as I'm told and I'm happy. Marriage 
know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, well, actually, I entered into marriage, and I told you all, I, I thought it's great, but I don't expect to be married to me forever and a day because people change. It's not what I anticipate with my marriage. You know, when I was in my twenties, I thought. When I get married, you know, it's all about me roses. Well, so, because the wife do your ironing and washing and the, the cooking. That would have been nice. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh my God, well, you married an old woman. <laughs> yeah, well, I figured that out pretty early. Um, but you, yeah, you, you do. You, you do change and you do evolve. And um, I think we've sort of got used to each other's peculiarities. Yeah, marriage is a funny thing, isn't it? Yeah. But it's certainly not what it was 40 years ago, where it was probably, um, yeah, you're excited to see each other, that sort of thing. And, and Rosby has certainly, has been terrific for both of us. Um, yeah, it's, it's just evolved that we have art, which Kay is passionate about, and we have grapes, and we have cattle, which I'm very comfortable with. I think it's fantastic. So we both, under this Rosby brand, have found something that we both love, which contributes to the mm. overall Rosby brand. And, and that, that, that's worked. So we're very fortunate in that regard. <laughs> well, I guess we're opposites. That's, this, that's what uh, is the success of a relationship, I think. But you know, my mother said to me, I don't care who you marry, as long as he makes you laugh, then you're on the road to success. But whether she's right or wrong, but you know, Gerald does do some funny things. <laughs> 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 Kay makes me laugh because she, was, she has some great sayings. Uh, like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm on cloud 10. <laughs> or, um, what was the one the other day? Oh, yeah. You get up like a, you get up like an inch, you'll take a foot. <laughs> I've got a book full of Kay's quotes and they make me laugh. Ha, ha, ha.